98 Jeep Cherokee XJ clock spring removal unhook your battery let it sit for a little while I guess and then you have two 516 and they're right here take them out and airbag popped off and then you unplug your airbag unplug your horn Thirteen sixteen. Just take this nut off, and then you need a puller from AutoZone or Auto Parts Store. And it'll screw right in there, and it'll pop the wheel right off. And then you unplug this. This is your airbag. That's the horn. Black wire. So what I did is went to AutoZone and I uh, got the puller, pulled the wheel off, and then took the clock spring off. Put the wheel back on, but not. I didn't tighten it all the way, so I could. Uh, There's a clock spring, so I could get the clock spring out. And then I put the wheel back on <coughs> and drove home. But, so now I'm at home. Now there's a clip up on the top, and there's a clip on the bottom to, under here. If you look under there, there it is right there, you can feel it. I'm going to push that clip. And then you don't want to break the clip on the top, so you want a screwdriver finger and pop that up. And now your cock spring will come right out without breaking your tabs here. There's one tab, the other tab. So hopefully that helps. Somebody getting their clock spring out without breaking their tab. And it just snaps back in. So I got this all repaired now, I'm putting it back together. And I'll have my cruise control and my horn working again. See this is how you test the horn. Yes, the clock spring is working, the horn's working. What you could do if you want to rig up a horn, just put a switch to this and run that the other end of the wire, another wire to ground and have a momentary switch and then you can have a horn button somewhere else besides the steering wheel, which I'm thinking about doing. So hopefully that helps. Peace.